Hello and welcome back to our series on Angular tutorials for beginners. In our previous video, we learned about pipes in Angular. The video links are coming in suggestions and I will also provide the link in comment box. Don't forget to check them out. In this video, we will learn what are directives and its categories, why there is a requirement for a directive. This video is actually the overview of directives, so I will mostly be going through the slides and in my next two videos, I will talk more about built-in directives and custom directives. So without any further delay, let's start. Angular directives in Angular are one of the most coolest feature. They are used to extend the power of HTML attributes. With Angular core, we can essentially extend the browser native functionality and create our own HTML tags and attributes and associate some behavior to them. There are three kinds of directives in Angular. Component. Component is also a directive with a template which deals with the view of the application and also contains the business logic. It divides the application into smaller parts. I already have a video on components and component based architecture. The link is in the suggestion and also in comment section. Check it out. Structural directives. Structural directives are used to change the behavior of DOM by adding and removing DOM elements. The directive ng4, ng switch, ng if are some of the example of structural directives. I will talk more about the structural directives in my next videos. Attribute directives. Attribute directives changes the style of DOM elements. The attribute directives has two types, ng class and ng styles. These helps you add classes and styles to any HTML element respectively. Structural directives has three types, ng if, ng for and ng switch. You can correlate these with if, for and switch statements used in JavaScript, TypeScript and any other programming language. Apart from the inbuilt directives, Angular provides you the option to create your own custom directives. You can create custom directives if something is already not available in Angular core. You can create a directive if you need to highlight some text in a div when the user mouse over it. You can create a directive to create your own custom drop down. There are many such cases where you need to create your own custom directives. This is all for now. If you have any questions, suggestions, feedback, you can share in the comment box and stay tuned for the upcoming videos on directives. Thank you. Thank you for listening.